Welcome back to the Ad Manager video series. My name is Claudia. If you've just signed up for your account and are getting ready to start placing ads on your site, this video will help you plan out your inventory structure. Mapping out your inventory structure before you actually create ad units in Ad Manager will help you save time and confusion. In this video, we'll start by covering a few key terms and then jump into some strategy. It is important to watch this video before actually setting up your ad units to make sure that you can simply and easily build out your ad inventory in Ad Manager. Let's start with the key terms to know. Understanding these terms will make your setup process easier and more direct. The first is Ad Units. Ad Units are the actual ad slots on your page. To help visualize this, imagine printing out your website and cutting out all the spaces where you would like to show ads. Those are your ad units. After this video, take the time to comb through your site or app and note where you would want ads to be placed. You can use our previous videos to help you determine that. Now, keep thinking about your cutout pieces of ad units. Advertisers, buyers, and brands want to buy those ad units from you. Just like a grocery store keeps track of how many gallons of milk they'll have to sell to consumers, you as a publisher should keep track of how many ad units you have to sell to buyers. Those ad units are your inventory. Once you know how much inventory you have and where it is, you need to translate that into an optimal setup in Ad Manager. That's what we'll focus on today. Let's talk about your inventory structure. Imagine laying all the printed pages of your website out and creating a hierarchy of pages flowing from your homepage to different subpages. It might look something like this where this sports publisher has a homepage and then subpages for tennis, soccer, and baseball. Your ad units should follow a similar structure to this hierarchy of pages to help keep your inventory organized. To do this, you use what we call parent and child ad units. This publisher might create a parent ad unit on their homepage and lower level child ad units on the tennis, soccer, and baseball pages. When the publisher targets these ad units with advertisements, they can target the parent level and have the ad show on the parent level. This would be the home page as well as all lower level child ad units on the tennis, soccer, and baseball pages. Or they can choose to only show the ad on a specific lower level child ad unit like the tennis, soccer, or baseball specific pages. However, your site might have a different structure like this news publisher who has subsections on travel, sports, and entertainment. In that case, you might want to have four different parent-level ad units dedicated to each section so that they can target each subsection with different types of ads relevant to that content. As a publisher, you know your site best. Map out what your inventory structure looks like and write this down on paper or in a document. Note where you want to place ads and whether you want those ad units to be parent or child ad units. This will be helpful to refer to when you're setting up your ad inventory in Ad Manager. While you're mapping out your inventory structure, make sure you're naming all of your ad units. You should decide on a taxonomy or naming system you would like to use. This will help you keep track of which ad units are in which places on your website and can be helpful when running reports. An example taxonomy would be page underscore position underscore size. When you put that in action, it could be homepage underscore leaderboard underscore 728 times 90. This will help you know exactly which ad unit you're working with. Go through all of your ad units and apply these names to them. So remember, before you do anything in Ad Manager, make sure to plan out where you want ads to appear on your site. Write it down and develop a standard naming convention. This will help you in the long run when you start running reports and analyzing your ad inventory. Thanks so much for watching this training today. To learn how to create ad units in Ad Manager, watch our next video. For more support, you can find links to our help center in the description below. And make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on our latest tips for Ad Manager. See you next time.